The third worst lift at Short Hills is a 1995 Schindler 300A. It is an okay lift with a cool motor sound, although it is low on oil. It runs pretty much the same way as almost any 300A so it's an okay lift. This is the third worst lift in the mall. Also, the door operator is wearing out extremely badly. The second worst lift at Short Hills takes the number 5 spot as a hidden Schindler 3300 at Industrious, which levels like pretty much almost any Schindler 3300, slow and crappy. The cab and fixtures look like any other Schindler 3300 these days outside and there is not much to say about this lift other than it is extremely boring. Unfortunately, I could not take a picture or video of this lift because it had a sign next to it that said clients only. Staff was standing by the lift so it was way too risky to film anyway. Maybe when the covet situation dies down later and the staff are not at the entrance I can sneak in a film in the near future. The worst lift in the entire mall actually are a combo of three worst lifts which are equally bad. They are tied at the The Syncrook lift at Bloomingdale's the Westinghouse at the Green Car Park and the Westinghouse at the Yellow Car Park. Each of the three lifts are SUS as heck. They each run quite questionably but the way the motor sounds is epic, however, the alarm doesn't work which is an instant turn off because there is no guarantee that the emergency phone is going to work should somebody get stuck in the lift. This fact alone makes this, the Green Car Park and the The Syncrook lift at Bloomingdale's tied at the three worst lifts in the whole shopping center. However to keep it short, only the yellow car park will be featured in today's premiere.